Lucky Boys Podcast. There are certain situations, certain companies that needed people back, you know, in person. Some people make good points like, hey, if you have record pr- productivity, record profits, and and we did that all while working from home, mm-hmm. why should we be forced to go back into the office? Mm-hmm. And a lot of them to say to stimulate the economy. Mm. the travel economy yeah. right where you need to commute i was gonna say control the, the bus but that's yeah, it's control <laughs> yeah. let's get to that yeah I thought, but then, I thought but then uh the food vendors the yeah. restaurants commercial real estate mm. all of that they, they took yeah. a toll at least in new york uh city they did um there was just a lot of residual impact to uh, uh other see, vendors out there uh, businesses so outside of the right immediate the person from yeah. the business owner for the from the hot dog stand to the person selling t-shirts to the sneaker store to if they weren't able to shift their business digitally and have a online store and make it thrive they either went out of business or they're hanging on by a thread mm-hmm. yeah but what about that when it comes to making people going back to the office It's about not allowing the system to change, not allowing uh, people to adapt or businesses to adapt. So flexing their power. Yeah. So, you know, the point that you made was was about, you know, the the, the businesses, the ancillary businesses, the peripheral businesses. I get that. But I I think ultimately um, it's about control. You know, corporations making sure that they have a, a... like a, like a stranglehold on their employees and making sure that, you know, you know, we're paying you to do a job. We want you to do the job specifically to what we want. Even if, if they have record profits, even if they have record productivity levels from their employees. Yes. So they that's, would still say, hey, do it this way, even if it means yeah. less profit and less productivity. I don't think I don't think it's going to be less profit. I think it's going to be the same. I mean. Either you do it at home or you do it. You do it so they, they, in the office. It's they just want to show everyone that they can, and yeah. that's the way they want it. Yeah, I believe so. I believe that. You know why? You hear about like how corporations they are very rigid and they don't change. Right. Right. But th- you, you see, like you see the the new tech companies, they're they're willing to adapt, even going to the model of total remote. And I see like a lot of uh, a lot of corporations are. are you know they've lasted for you know fifty years, like decades, and I don't think they they want to lose that that control over their employees. So you th- that's why you see financial institutions actually they've never been remote. Like I know my cousin, she works for a hedge fund. She's you know she's never she, she even at the start of the pandemic she may, probably did remote for two weeks, and then her company wanted her back in the office. But they even paid so, for. They even paid for like transportation for. Right, her. but there's only so much that they can fight the future. It's inevitable. I think so. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree yeah. that. I agree that it's inevitable. But then it's going to be for corporations that are so rigid, and they're not allowing their employees to have that flexibility. They're going to lose them. Lucky Boys Podcast.